what was wrong with the classical picture was revealed to us by Max Planck and now we come to the Planck's hypothesis what Max Planck said was you are doing the correct thing by taking the density of the wave and also by multiplying it with the energy that it carried. Remember this is what we had the power okay, which is uh, the energy that is emitted per unit time per unit volume okay, at a particular frequency or at the particular wavelength okay, or frequency okay. this is given by the density of waves at that frequency okay, into the energy per wave okay now what Max Planck this this gave us some p nu okay what Max Planck said was what you're doing here is completely fine this is fine you can't argue with that okay what you're not doing right is assuming that this is kt he says this is not kt which we assumed earlier this is not linear dependent temperature it is actually some new by a certain distribution which is e exponential of h nu by kt minus 1 and there is a constant here which is h okay now before i come to this i should have done i should have told you something but let me tell you uh, that something now and which is this it says that the energy of a wave at frequency nu is given by a constant h and then the mu itself this h is called Planck's constant you might not immediately understand the huge significance of the statement the huge physics content in the statement and that basically is this it means that energy is quantized in h nu h nu h nu etc you cannot have if the frequency is nu the frequency of light is nu you could not have half a nu so this is say half nu and this is not allowed you could not have that of course in the classical picture that was completely allowed because you had waves and you could have this many waves you could have this many waves and you can have different waves okay you could have this amplitude of wave you could have a higher amplitude for the same wave with the same frequency but now since energy is quantized okay, it comes in lumps and those lumps are dependent on the frequency and these are some lumps of energy and they are called the quanta so energy is now quantized and so these are called quanta of light energy is now quantized and light being a form of energy now come in quanta it's like uh, going to the supermarket and buying a packet of something you cannot buy half that packet you cannot buy three three halves of the packet you could buy one packet you could buy two packets you could buy three four five packets and so the energy okay is some n into h nu we already know what the h nu is n is an integer you could not half n or three quarter n or whatever okay and if you treated it correctly if you if you um, took this energy and said that the walls of the black body okay emit 
or absorb energy okay, in quanta in other words you're saying it cannot emit or absorb any amount it cannot remember any amount of energy for example it can only amount it can only take up h nu 2 h nu 3 h nu 4 h nu and so on it cannot take up three and a half h nu okay this is not allowed so since it cannot take up that h nu if you do the maths correctly you would get this kind of a factor so let's come back to that factor okay and see it properly so you could not uh, you could not get that factor okay oh, so, uh, sorry you should get that factor you could not get kt okay kt means everything was allowed here you could get only that factor okay so now the frequency or this curly new is now given by 8 pi let's just put in all the factors in okay and then you have new square oh sorry new cubed three news by exponential h new by kt minus one d new or we can raise the d new if you have this kind of a formula this kind of a formula remember this is an exponential function okay if you know a little bit of the exponential function i'll give you a reference for the exponential function just to know what the exponential function is the exponential function grows very very sharply the exponential function grows like this so this has this is zero and this is say something like uh, two or so so this is one and then this is two and so it grows okay so uh, this is about one here grows really really fast exponential function but the exponential function takes some time to grow so at low new this basically is something like uh, uh, so something like the Rayleigh genes but at high frequencies where Rayleigh genes was having problems remember Rayleigh genes uh, was this Rayleigh genes was this so this was the high frequency this is high frequency This was high frequency, and um, in that high frequency, Rayleigh genes was having problem explaining the blank body spectrum. Now uh, we see how Planck will do. Okay, um, for completion, let me just write down the. Let me just write down the. Uh, P nu at high uh, nu. Okay. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. P nu at low nu. P nu at low nu. This is basically given by 8 pi h by cube 3. And this factor at low nu basically reduces to h nu by kt. Okay, so at low nu, low nu, which is high lambda, okay, exponential of h nu by kt minus 1 is nothing but h nu by kt okay you can find this out uh, numerically this is true and therefore we get back our familiar uh, result of this is of course uh, Rayleigh genes this is of course Rayleigh genes so in the limit of high wavelength or low frequencies the Planck reduces to the Rayleigh genes. So the Rayleigh genes we saw was correct in the high uh, wavelength regime and it will be correct and the Planck will also be correct in the high wavelength regime. But what happens in the low wavelength the high frequency regime? Okay. Let me show you a curve which is this. Okay. This is Planck's law this solid line is Planck's law okay this dotted line I showed this earlier is Rayleigh genes law 
okay and these are experimental points okay these are experimental points so you can see that experiment and theory match exactly the Planck's law explains all the points the Planck's law explains all the points therefore the Planck's law is experimentally verified okay now if it's experimentally verified we must uh, try to know the physics behind it we got to know the physics behind it and we must say that that is somehow correct and so you somehow have the following points and which is energy is quantized so e is some n of h nu where n is an integer okay and that is important n is an integer it's important okay the black body cavity wall emits or absorbs energy at fixed frequencies or okay, in fixed fixed quanta okay so you have fixed frequencies or fixed quanta so energy now is lumpy so energy is no longer wavy but lumpy so we had a classical picture of energy was like it comes in waves it's like waves and on the ocean you have uh, waves coming in waves going out and you have um, beautiful continuous process but now it's not that it is lumpy and is discrete and it comes in small packets okay we will see one more very important application of this um, and we'll see the great Einstein at work when he uses this simple hypothesis to explain something called the photoelectric effect which was also an open problem in that in those days that's in the next lecture. Thank you.